Good afternoon, and hopefully you're enjoying this February day. Um, one of the things that I get asked quite a bit is, do I only sell or work in sea pines? And the answer is no. Um, I'll work um, the, mostly um, the whole island. Um, some, and then in some cases, uh, certain communities off island in Bluffton. But for the most part, I think just given my location and, and um, where we um, operate our business and maybe even our name, I do do most of my business in sea pines. Uh, an area that seems to be growing a lot uh, is Hilton Head Plantation. So I thought I would talk to you a little bit about Hilton Head Plantation today, just to give you some background on that. Um, actually quite a few folks uh, who have lived in sea pines have even migrated to Hilton Head Plantation because it is um, also another really nice community on island. Uh, ironically, Hilton Head Plantation was also uh, developed by Charles Frazier. So in some respects, there's some similarities just in terms of the, the feel of the community, um, similar to sea pines. And one thing that is unique to these two communities is that in both of their covenants, there is gate reciprocity. So if you're a property owner in one of these communities, sea pines or Hilton Head Plantation, you have gate access to the other one, which um, provides some benefits at times. The um, Hilton Head Plantation is about, uh, made up of about 4,100, almost 4,200 homes. So in terms of comparison, comparing it to Sea Pines, Sea Pines has about 3,500 homes, but also 1,800 villas. Um, the the landmass that it encompasses is about 4,000 acres, and it would be on the north end of the island, um, kind of at the juncture of Broad Creek and um, Port Royal Sound. The um, community a few years ago uh, changed their covenants to uh, not allow any short-term rentals there. They were starting to see an increase of, of VRBO and Airbnb, and the residents decided that that was not something that they wanted. They wanted this to be a uh, primary residence type of community or a second home community without renters. So that passed pretty, pretty easily for that community. They embraced that um, change wholeheartedly. There are a lot of amenities within Hilton Head Plantation, if you're, if you're not aware of it. They have um, a Dolphin Head Recreation Center, which is being uh, rebuilt right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's up on the, uh, again, the, kind of the north end there with the uh, Port Royal Sound. They've got about two miles of walking beach. It's not the Atlantic, but it's still water, water-oriented property. And then there's um, uh, something called Bluff Walk, which is about 0.8 miles. Um, point, point, excuse me, point 0.9 miles, and that allows you some walk along the, the kind of the coastal area there. Um, Spring Lake Pavilion is a new uh, d a development that they redid um, primarily with their swimming pool. It's, it's amazing. Tennis courts are there. There's a clubhouse. Um, so that's, you know, in a sense, a community pool um, and very large, uh, kind of a lazy river kind of thing. Uh, there is a ball field, there's a garden, so a lot of similarities to the amenities that uh, you find elsewhere. There are two conservancies in the community, um, which would be nice for, you know, just walking or bird watching. Four golf courses, three of them are semi-private, um, Dolphin Head, Bear Creek, and Oyster Reef. And then there's also the Country Club of Hilton Head, which is very similar. Uh, it's a kind of a traditional club uh, set up and with tennis, golf, fitness center, dining, social, etc. Skull Creek Marina is located in Hilton Head Plantation. So if you had a boat and you wanted it to be nearby, that would give you that option. They have a community tennis courts, bocce ball, um, shuffleboard, and I am sure that they are planning for pickleball. Everybody seems to be doing that these days since that's such a growing sport. The uh, trans, uh, the annual fee for Hilton Head Plantation this year is $1,286. So very reasonable, much like Sea Pines, very reasonable annual POA. They do have a transfer fee, so when you purchase there, you're going to pay one quarter of 1% of your purchase, purchase price. Um, great community. Uh, if you are interested in um, viewing property there, um, I think in general you get um, a little more house for the money. Uh, properties are not quite as expensive uh, in Hilton Head Plantation compared to say Sea Pines, um, but it's a different amenity set. It's totally fine. They do not have Atlantic Beach access, so that's one of the big uh, drivers that keeps the property values just a little bit lower than you would see in Palmetto Dunes or Sea Pines along the ocean. Hope this is helpful. 
Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.